Hey guys, this video is on the Fabaro water sensor and the dome water shutoff valve uh, device. And I'm gonna show you how I installed it and how it works and tell you what I think about it. Okay, so the Fabaro water sensor is this little guy here. I have two of these and I put them next to my toilets and then I have a dome water valve uh, shut off and I'm going to show you how that works and uh, how that gets installed. So I've had this unit for about three months. It's been working great. I don't have any complaints. So the way it works is that when this guy detects moisture, it sends a signal through SmartThings to shut this off. And you can have different makes and models of uh, moisture sensors to shut this off or I can do it manually. Once this gets tripped, you actually have to clear everything. You have to clear it on the app, come down here, push the button, and then it'll detect moisture, you know, again. But if you don't clear it on the app, um, this guy is not going to do anything. So it's not going to shut it off. So that's one thing you have to be very careful of. That if you just come down here, turn this back on, and then a flood starts again, and you didn't clear it on the mobile app, you're kind of screwed. The way it works, Take this little guy and it just it chimes because I'm, I'm tampering it. I'm picking it up. Put it on a damp cloth. Okay, I'm gonna take this off so it doesn't keep beeping. And there it goes. And then on my phone, I got a moisture detected alert. So if I click this, so we open up our mobile app, and hopefully you can see that it says leak, moisture detected. So I have to hit dismiss. Okay, so that's cleared now. And then I can come down here and push the power button, which opens the valve back up. And now we're ready to go again. I'm gonna bring you in for a close-up of this unit. As you can see, this bracket is just like a folded piece of metal, tapered at the end here, fits onto the uh, pipe. And then you put your clamps on and you don't have to get crazy tight with it. Now I did sweat this valve in, but if you already have a valve, uh, you're good to go. One thing I wasn't paying attention to is when I, sweat, I was sweating in the valve, um, as you can see, it's more towards my uh, hot water heater. I wanted it so it's, it's coming straight out, but that's okay. It works good right here. And then it just needs power. And the valve has to turn a certain way for it to work. So you got to make sure that when you have a valve that's you know set up the right way and you can adjust everything and so it was really easy so if your valve is here and you got a nice straight pipe on both ends it, it shouldn't be an issue for you you just basically clamp it on and that's it and then you give it a little power and you can manually turn it on and off right here if you want to so I didn't want this unit on my main valve in case I did need to shut it off and then say this guy's not working I just come down here and get my main one right there. As you can see, there's nothing connected. Nothing is actually taking water before this. So this works good. So I just want to give you a close up of this unit, what it looks like. You can see how small it is. There's the pins on the bottom. The way to open it is you just kind of screw the two part there it is nice big uh, CR123A battery so it should last quite a while and from what it looks like on the inside is you can run external power out of this unit but then you have to like make some notches in the cover to get the power wires to come out you can even have um, another sensor come off of this unit uh, maybe if you use this one maybe the, the onboard one is disabled I'm not 100% sure but I have seen some videos of people kind of messing with that. So I just kind of line this back up in the right spot and then you just kind of twist it and you'll see the light come on once it's closed. Okay, now let's wrap it up. Um, basically I showed you the dome water valve. Sorry, there's no video on how to install it, but it is very easy. The Fabaro water sensors, I purchased those because of the reviews. Dome actually makes some water sensors. I think Samsung makes some water sensors. I didn't go with the Samsung because I heard some 
mixed reviews on those and I didn't want to take a chance so I went with a little higher end one more expensive the uh, for borrows and they're working great I've been testing this on and off for about two three months now uh, just making sure it works just waiting for that one time that it fails and it has not failed once yet after a couple months of playing with this I'll leave it alone and I'll just let it do let it do its thing one thing I would suggest doing is look at your sensor after a while and make sure that these all I believe they're copper these old copper pins don't get corroded okay so that's the only thing I'd recommend just make sure those don't get corroded all right so if you have any questions I can try to answer them and uh, if you have any products that you would like me to check out and do a review on or show how to hook them up let me know I can definitely try that um, a lot of my videos are going to be based on smart things now because uh, that's the way my house is going and I just I think it's fun so you will see a lot more videos based on uh, smart devices for your house thanks for watching uh, please like and subscribe if you can I would appreciate it, it really helps us out see ya